Hi there and welcome. I'm Sydney and today we're going to do some yoga for your flow to help ease the symptoms that are associated with your moon cycle. And so think lots of floor poses, lots of forward folds, lots of compress on the belly to kind of ease those, those cramps and also lengthen and stretch out the lower back because I know some of us can walk around with a lot of lower back pain when we are on our cycle. So we'll focus on that. So to get ready for this class today, uh, props are optional, um, but always encouraged. Today I recommend using a bolster or a pillow will do. Um, two blocks are always helpful, but you can use books or textbooks instead. Um, and a blanket, which most people have. Uh, so whenever you're ready, we'll get started on your mat and let's begin. So we're gonna to start today's practice by just coming into an upright, easy seated position. You can add a block underneath your bum to add some length, lengthen the spine. I know that helps me kind of open up the shoulders. And we're just gonna take a second here to arrive on our mat. Allow ourselves to designate this time for ourselves. allowing anything that's happened off the mat before this and after this to kindly release and allow the focus to remain on ourselves and on our body and on our mat for today's practice. So just taking a second to drop in with yourself Noticing how your body is feeling in this moment. Begin to bring awareness to the breath, moving naturally in and out of your nostrils. Noticing where in the body you feel expansion as you inhale. And noticing where you may feel relief as you exhale. And if you find yourself getting caught up in thoughts, allow them to pass through without attachment, just letting them move through your mind like a wave, always flowing, but never stopping. Take a big inhale here into the belly, feeling it expand with air, holding just at the tip, and then open the mouth and let it out with a sigh. Good work. Let's go on and open the eyes if you had them closed and remove the block from underneath your bum if that was present and just place that off to the side for now. We're gonna to start today's practice in a supported child's pose. And so if you have a pillow or a bolster um, accessible right now, you can use that 
if you don't have one, you can go into a traditional child's pose and feel the same effects. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up the bolster in the top third half of the mat, maybe even a little bit below. Mine's a little bit dirty, so just make sure yours is clean. You don't want to put your face on anything dirty. We're going to bring the big toes to touch behind us. Knees are going to extend on either side of the mat, giving us a as much space in between as possible and we're going to bring this bolster nice and close to the inner groin and there's still a little bit of space in between mine if yours doesn't look like that that's completely fine um but we're just going to start to walk our hands over this bolster coming into a child's pose and you can either extend your hands forward here or you can leave them behind you relaxing the shoulders Whatever you decide is perfectly fine for today. And let's go on and just rest one cheek down onto the bolster. You can relax the hands, relax the shoulders. Just finding some comfort here. If you don't have a bolster or a pillow here, you can bring your forehead to the mat and maybe give yourself a light massage by rolling it from one side to the next, but just finding some stillness, some peace in this supported child's pose. You may bring your awareness to the middle of the upper back and just notice how it rises and falls as you inhale and exhale. Just watching the back inflate like a balloon as you move through each cycle of breath. Relax the hips. Maybe focus your awareness on the stretching of the lower back here. Pulling the tailbone towards the earth below you. Maybe stretching out your arms a little bit farther if you'd like to feel that stretch. Allowing yourself to readjust as needed at any point in your practice today. Maybe finding some comfort in a pose that I haven't suggested. Just listening to your body today and doing what feels good in your body. Let's take three more breaths here and then we'll switch cheeks. And let's go on and switch to the other side. Raising your head for just a moment and switching to the other cheek.
Noticing if this side feels any different without judgment, just noticing. Relax the shoulders, relax the jaw, relax the hips. And then allow yourself to find some peace in this pose. Focusing on the breath, moving in and moving out. Last three breaths here. And then bringing the palms to the earth and pushing yourself up gradually and slowly back into a seated position. We're going to move the bolster out of the way for just a minute. And we're going to come onto our bum into a butterfly pose. So bringing the soles of the feet together in front of us here. For this pose, there's two ways that you can go about it. So if you would like to add some support for your belly here, go on and bring the bolster on top of the feet and just in line with the belly. And we're going to fold over this bolster and it might feel good for you. And if it doesn't, Go ahead and move that out of the way. Maybe use a blanket instead. Maybe use nothing. But find something that feels good for you in this moment. What you can also do here as well is if this is just a little too deep for you, you can go on and bring that uh, diamond a little bit larger. Give yourself much more space here. That might be more comfortable for you. But just play around with what feels good for you in this moment. I'm going to bring my feet a little bit closer because that's how I like it. And something that's also helpful in this pose is a block or two. Um, so what I'm going to do, because my head doesn't really rest down comfortably on here, is I'm going to place the block um, probably on the lowest setting here and just allow my forehead to rest gently on here. And then my hands can fall on either side of the bolster. Palms can face up or face down. Whatever feels good for you. But we're just going to focus on lengthening that the neck here, lengthening the spine. So you don't want to be so crunched over. You want to rather kind of extend as long as you can. So take a moment to find your position of this. And when you do, maybe close your eyes and come back to the breath. Bringing that awareness to the back of the heart space once again. Maybe notice how it feels to breathe in this position as opposed to the position we were in before. And 
breathing in through the nose and breathing out through the nose. Noticing the pace of your breath here and seeing if you can slow it down and lengthen it. The breath is one of the best tools for pain management because it allows you to focus on something other than the pain you are feeling in this moment. So bring all your attention, all your awareness to those inhales and exhales. the cycle of breathing. Five more breaths here. And when you're ready, gradually placing the palms on the mat and pushing yourself up gently. Moving the blocks out of the way. Let's keep the bolster here or the pillow if you have that. And we're gonna extend the right leg out forward straight, keeping this left leg, this left knee bent with the left sole of the foot pressed into the inner right thigh. And we're gonna come into a forward fold here. And what I like to do is place this bolster on top of this folded left leg. Um, so to the left of the right leg. And what you're gonna do here is you can bring it as close to the belly as, belly as you'd like. I really like that, in, that compression that this gives me in these poses. I find a lot of relief um, with my cramps when I do that. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna gently fold over the midline here, not folding over the right leg, but just folding over the midline. And if you'd like to use the block here to prop up your forehead, you are more than welcome. And we're just gonna relax here, letting the hands hang heavy, letting gravity do all the work here. Breathing into that right hip. Maybe bend the knee if you need. You can put a little micro bend there. And coming back to the breath. See if you can lengthen and deepen each of your inhales 
in each of your exhales. Maybe using some vibrational breath here if you need. Taking a big inhale in and sighing it out. Maybe you flutter the lips as such. Just doing whatever feels good for you in this moment. For me, vibrational breath is super releasing. So I like to sigh it out as much as possible. Releasing the hips, relaxing the back. Notice if you are gripping anywhere. And without judgment, just see if you can ask those parts to soften just a little bit. Unclench. Each exhale, seeing if you can relax just a little bit more, seeing if you can release just a little bit more. And then let's slowly make our way back up to seated and switch sides so you can bring your props out of the way and maybe shake out the legs. Bring the right sole of the foot to the inner left leg, the left thigh. And if you use the bolster on the other side, go on and let that extend over the right leg this time. And then we're just going to fall over the midline once more, maybe using a block to prop up the head. Whatever you need to find comfort here. Noticing the breath. Noticing where your mind has gone and see if you can gently pull it back. Unclenching any muscles, releasing any holdings. Finding quality in the breath.
three more breaths here. And then using the palms to push yourself up back to seated, removing the blocks out of the way. And maybe letting the legs release just for a second. And what we're going to do now is move into one of our final poses. Um, and this is one of my favorite poses because it really puts an emphasis on the breath here and allows an expansion of the chest and allows you this connection with your breath and with your body. Um, so let's find the effects. Let's feel the effects of it. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to set up a little incline in the back of our mat with blocks. And if you don't have props here, you can go into a um, early Shavasana, or if you have a pillow present, you can just use the pillow without the, um, without the incline. It'll have a similar effect. So we're going to create a little incline here with the two blocks. So the block at the top of the mat is going to be the long way and the block uh, just in front, almost like a, a fistful in front, is going to be on like the second highest height, I would say. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our bolster and just place it on this incline that we've created. I'm gonna bring the tip of the tailbone to the bottom of the bolster so they are flush with each other. Feet can go on the mat, and we're just going to gently relax over the bolster or the pillow, allowing the shoulders to splay on either side. And if you'd like, you can bring the soles of the feet to touch here, coming into a bound angle or butterfly pose. And when you arrive in this pose, just Take a second to find some comfort, find some ease. If your hips are really tight, you can put two blocks underneath either knee or maybe two blankets or um, pillows. And we're just gonna take our hands here and place one on our heart and on our belly, or maybe place both on your belly if that feels good for you. And just begin to focus on the navel, rising with each inhale and decompressing with each exhale. Just bringing this focus to the breath. Releasing the jaw. Releasing the shoulders. Releasing the hands, the wrists, the hips. Letting yourself arrive fully in this moment, in this pose. Feeling the connection with that life force in your body, the cycle of air that moves in and out of you.
feeling your deep connection to mother nature as you cycle through life through fertility and reminding yourself of all of Earth's cycles of balance and maintenance. Reminding yourself that the same water that flows through the creek flows through you. I didn't mention this previously, but if you would like to use a blanket over yourself right now, feel free. The weightedness of the blanket may offer some comfort and some relief for you. So always feel free to adapt as needed. Let's take five more deep belly breaths here. Expanding the navel. And releasing what no longer serves us. And then whenever you're ready, bringing the knees back together, soles of the feet on the ground. And maybe you do a little windshield wiper action to just release some of the tension in the hip joint. And then taking a second to prop yourself up. You can remove the props here. They're no longer needed. Or you can keep them if you'd like. However you enjoy your practice. I will give one suggestion for those in Shavasana. 
Um, if you would like to use the bolster or a pillow underneath your knees, it can add a lot of relief here. Um, I personally don't like to use this in my practice, but I always give the option to. I'm going to remove mine out of the way, but I am going to use my blanket for Shavasana. So I'm just going to extend this over me. And taking up as much space as you need here. Maybe spreading the legs nice and wide. Spreading the arms nice and wide, taking a big starfish. Maybe today you want to be more insular, more inward. And then you can place your hands either face up on the earth or face down on the earth. Maybe even bring them on top of the belly or on top of the heart. Wherever you are, just finding what's right for you. Let's go on and tuck the shoulders underneath the heart and allow yourself to adjust as needed here until you're 10% more comfortable. Coming back to the breath, letting it move naturally in and out through the nostrils. And then let's start to scan the body, releasing any tension as we go. So starting from the head, from the crown of the head, moving down to the jaw, releasing the jaw, moving down to the throat, the shoulders, the arms, the forearms, the wrists, the fingers, moving back up to the collarbone, the top of the chest, the belly, the hips, the glutes, the tops of the thighs, the backs of the thighs, the knees, the shins, the tops of the feet, the bottoms of the feet, the toes, Allowing yourself to release any of that last remaining tension in your body and giving yourself full permission to rest here. Take as much time as you need in your Shavasana. And if you enjoyed this practice today, I invite you to like or subscribe to my channel for new videos and new offerings. And until next time, my friends, namaste and be well.